Massive Ordnance Air Blast is the biggest conventional bomb ever created. At 21,000 pounds, it can flatten an area the size of six Super Bowl stadiums. Moab is a blast munition, a massive ordnance air blast, so we're focusing on the blast effects versus fragmentation, which may be a uh, design of other munitions. To see the effects of a blast on the human body, we conducted a series of tests. Our willing victims were fiberglass mannequins. With a special high-speed camera, we captured the anatomy of a blast. Using a fuel air explosive, the gas is dispersed to mix with the air. Then, it's detonated, creating a massive fireball. The fireball creates the blast wave that shatters everything in its path. Of course, all this happens within a few milliseconds. Filmed at normal speed, our mannequin is shredded in the blink of an eye. This is how the Moab works. It's designed to produce the biggest blast wave ever created from a non-nuclear bomb. To deliver the world's biggest bomb, you're going to need a very big airplane. Something like the C-130. C-130 is a big plane. Very big plane. They call it the Hercules. So it's fitting. Uh, the mother of all bombs goes to Hercules. That's <laughs> great. Basically what's going to happen is, uh, off a C-130, much like this one, the ramps will drop down, there's a parachute that's held right up in this area here, it'll be drop out, the wind will catch the parachute, and the parachute will extract the Moab and the platform right out the back. When it comes out of that airplane, it's going to hit a precise spot. So there's a, a GPS receiver on board, there's an inertial navigation system on board, and a flight control computer. Basically, those are the smarts, if you will. The Moab is fitted with lattice fins at the rear. They're linked to the Moab's own GPS system, which moves the fin, steering it to the target. It all adds up to the most lethal conventional bomb ever made. No wonder the Moab strikes fear into the hearts of the enemy. The Moab was created for one reason. It was a bomb designed to intimidate. And the target was Iraq. On the 12th of March, three days after the invasion of Iraq, the Moab was tested at a site 30 miles west of Eglin, Florida. This is footage from the actual test. It's the first time in history that a conventional bomb of this size had been dropped. The question is, would it work? Soaring silently through the sky, the Moab guides itself onto the target. a seasoned weapon designer, witnessed the test. I went to my first Moab test uh, down at Eglin Air Force Base, and it was impressive. We were miles away, and you heard that thunderous boom. 30 miles beyond the test site, residents of Maskin also heard the blast. I was sitting in my house and I could feel the vibration. Right, exactly. I, I live about four blocks from here and I felt the same thing. Something of that magnitude is just unbelievable. It shatters windows or it shakes the building. Like, I live in a trailer, so I feel it a lot. It's just that. It's the mother of all bombs. Three days later, the Iraqis surrendered. 
the Moab had played its part in Saddam's downfall without ever being used. Moab, it's not just a bomb. It's a psychological weapon. It applies pressure, not so much from its explosive blast. Its very presence acts as a deterrent from an enemy ever taking up arms in the first place.